Hello, this is Mr. G. Welcome to my class today. We are going to be working with a second grade um, worksheet, which is about addition and subtraction. And this is going to be based on word problem. This is one of the topics or lessons where many kids in third grade fail or struggle a little bit because of the lack of practice of this kind of activities in the grade before which is second grade. So it's my intention to model to teach and to explain how to make this easy for the students so the way that they can be successful when they arrive to the third grade we have the problem number one i had five hundred dollars i bought a playstation for 275 dollars how much money did i have left the word left is telling you that out of this five hundred dollars you spent 275 for an item which is a playstation so it's very important to uh to explain to kids uh, the worth of money and what they do when they go to a store so they are going to purchase something so that means that they are going to be giving or they are going to be taking away from what they have uh, at hand so in this situation we have 500 dollars that they have initially and out of this $500 that I have, they are going to spend $275. So here we have three digits uh, subtraction. When we, sub when we subtract, we have to tell the kid or explain them that when you have those zeros on the top, basically those are the numbers that you're going to be making them ones or tens, hundreds. You're going to be varying from the numbers before to make subtraction possible some kids in third grade they switch or they flip instead of saying zero or uh, ten minus five they say five minus zero that's how they work it so then that's a mistake which is that uh, that is telling me as a third grade teacher that these kids have not been working on that enough on third grade so we have zero minus five you cannot take five out of nothing so then in subtraction what we do have to borrow a ten with the digit before so to make this zero a ten and this one which is in the tenth position so since we get one ten out of this zero that will make it a nine and then since this number is less than the number below that tells you that you have to get a ten out of the hundred so this five hundred will not be five hundred anymore they are going to be four hundred so now subtraction is going to be possible ten minus five is going to be five 9 minus 7 so is 2 and 4 minus 2 is 2 so basically here out of this $500 this uh, I mean I will be having left which is based on the question here $275 left that will be my change after spending $275 for a PlayStation so let's remind the kids when you go to spend money you are doing subtraction that means that you are going to end up having less than what you initially had let's go to our second activity or second word problem let's do this i'm gonna clean my board second problem says here john bought 170 167 flowers on wednesday on friday he bought 133 more flowers than wednesday how many flowers did he bought on Friday? So if on Wednesday he got 167, got 167 on Wednesday. I'm gonna write that with W. And on Friday he bought 133 more. So basically what we're gonna do here so is to from uh, to this 167 we're going to add one. 33 flowers and the total is going to be the amount of flour that he purchased on Wednesday so 7 plus 3 is going to be 10 let's explain to kids in, third, in, in second grade that they should not write the 10 here because that doesn't work that way because they are two more digits to subtract I mean to add so what we do is to write the ones another one's place and the tens we go to the next number so 
four. Since it's a ten, we have zero here on the bottom, and then the one. I mean, the number one goes on the top of the sec of the number that we are going to be adding next. One plus six make it seven. Seven plus three make it ten. Again, we're gonna write the zero here, and we're gonna add a one to the number in the hundred place. Why are we doing that? Because we still have one number to add. So one plus one is two. Two plus one is three. So then basically, this is telling us that on Friday, this person or John bought 300 flowers. So that's the answer for this. Now let's do the next activity. Or question three a shop sold 167 cakes last week last week this week the shop sold 289 cakes how many cakes did the shop sell in all so let's tell the kids that on the day one or the last week the uh, shop sold this amount of cake 167 and the week after they sold 289 if we compare we can say that the week before they sold less cakes than this week i mean if we make if we talk about money this shop is is making more money this week than the week before so but let's go back to the question because the question is telling us how much or how many cakes have been sold how many cakes did the shop sell in all so we're gonna do we're gonna put those two weeks together or add the amount of cakes sold in two weeks so which means 167 plus 289 all right the plus sign here i think i didn't do it on the on the problem before so we are adding here so let's remind the kid that they must add the ones first well, the numbers in in the ones place seven plus nine is 16. we got two digits right six here and we carry the number one to the number in the tens place one plus six is seven seven plus eight is 15. again we have to carry one to the next number to be digits to be added one plus one is two two plus two is equal to four so in these two weeks this job sold 456 cakes they made a lot of money and last but not least uh, we got here john bought 167 flowers on wednesday this is similar to the first one we uh so we did and then uh on friday he bought 133 more flowers than on wednesday how many flowers did he buy on both days so then what we're gonna do it's similar but not exactly so 167 on wednesday that was on wednesday and on friday said he bought 133 more flowers than on wednesday so basically what we're gonna do is to add as we did before 167 plus 133 which is the amount of flour he bought on friday and then we're gonna add them together so to see how many flour he bought because now he's not comparing mean, we are not going to compare how many he bought in the we uh on wednesday and on friday we're not putting both together to see how many flowers he bought so seven plus three is ten we carry one a uh, one plus six seven seven plus three is ten we still carry remember we must write a zero and put the one on top of the hundred place because we still have one number to add one plus one is two plus two plus one is three so now then this is how many flower he bought on uh on friday this was on friday so now when i write it with us so with an f now we have to put them both together so 167 that he bought on wednesday and the 300 flower that he bought on friday so we're gonna add them we're gonna have a total seven plus zero is seven six plus zero is six one plus three is four so this is the amount of flour that the that john bought in those two days 
These are word problems are easy to work, but the teacher must be modeling and reminding the students that they must carry the that they must um, subtract and then uh, work. Uh, remember how to add using the place value. Thank you.